Hey, and welcome to a video about something I just think is kind of neat. That thing is GeoWorks Ensemble. And basically what this is, is PC Geos. I think it's very interesting, so uh, let's take a look at it. familiar, Geos was released in 1986 for the Commodore 64. It was later released in 1988 for the Apple II. In 1990 it was released for IBM PCs and compatibles. When it was released for PCs they actually called it Ensemble, although it is still called Geos in many places. Take a look at the box, you can see around front that it's got this IBM Choice software thing. Well, it's won a couple of awards. It's got some screenshots as well as the picture of a computer screen. Around back, it just talks about some of the programs it has in it. Around the side, it has a list of the programs that it comes with. The box is this little flip open thing. So it opens up like this, revealing a thing where it just talks about various different features. As you can see, it brags about the mouse, got all like crappy Logitech mice that were popular around that time. I've actually got one, they feel like a bar of soap, they're really kind of awkward. Just looking at that mouse just makes my hand uncomfortable. And it just talks about some of the different features, and something really cool is this inner part it looks like it's in a uh, GeoWrite. Uh, window. It's like makes it look like it's a GeoWrite document because it has like the menus and stuff over here. And GeoWrite is the built-in word processor, so that's just kind of a neat little detail. Inside the box, you get the program on four three and a half inch floppy disks, or a, a whopping ten five and a quarter inch floppy disks. You also get a quick fart. I mean, start guide. You also get a user's guide addendum as well as troubleshooting tips and extra features. There's also the customer support handbook, as well as this form letter and other sheet from IBM saying that's like IBM choice software. You also got this massive 500 page user manual, which is pretty good. These are an endangered species these days. And of course, one of my favorite things that comes with this is a sneak preview to America Online. I just find old AOL stuff kind of amusing. It's got like this fold out pamphlet. Really tempted to send it in. Oh wait, there's also this card that says it's not available in Canada. Sadly, we didn't get AOL until like 1996. So uh, yeah. And well, it uh, gets even sadder because when I went to install it, once I finished installing, I just got an error message. And no matter what I try, I try different like mice and stuff, and I just kept getting an error message. I've heard other people have had this issue too with the uh, archive I was using for 1.0. And uh, so I'm gonna have to use a 2.0 here to show you, which kinda sucks, but it's okay, it's still a lot of the stuff is still the same. So uh, yeah, I've got 2.0 installed here. And let's uh, load it up and uh, here we are at the main like program manager, it's called GeoManager. As you can see, there's a lot of similarities to uh, Windows like 3.0 and 3.1 here. The interface is pretty good for the time, I'd have to say. So uh, let's look at some of the programs that comes with the uh, GeoWorks Ensemble. The first one is the uh, calculator. It's uh, pretty cool, I guess. It's just a calculator, nothing special. Next up is the clock. 
It's like got this little clock in the bottom corner. We can change the position, the color, the size, as well as the style. Kind of neat, I guess. The next program on our list is one that I find quite interesting. It's called Geo Banner. And it just allows you to like make these banners and print them out and stuff. You can like change the font and add different styles and different effects and whatnot. And it really uh, reminds me of the banner making utility in a print shop deluxe. You remember the, that program I did a video on a while back. Next up is a GeoCalc, which is a pretty decent like basic spreadsheet program. Obviously it's not quite as advanced as something like Lotus 123 or especially Quattro Pro, but it's a pretty functional spreadsheet. Next up is a uh, GeoCom, which is just like a terminal application, it allows you to dial into like BBSs and stuff. We got GeoDex, which is just like a card file -y sort of thing, you can have like an address book and whatnot. And uh, here's GeoDraw, kind of like MS Paint, but not really. It really allows you to like draw shapes, and there's no like brush tool. It's just like shapes and text. I would almost go as far as to say this is more advanced than MS Paint because for two reasons. It's got like the rulers on the top and bottom of the screen, as well as it's also got when you put down a shape, you can actually click on it again and you can change different things about it and move it around which is unlike MS Paint which when you put down a shape it just it's there forever and you can't really get rid of it unless you get like control Z or eraser whereas here you can like change them later on next up is a geo file and ooh, that's no good Uh, okay, I guess. Pretend that it didn't happen. So, uh, next up is the database application called GeoFile. And it's a pretty neat, pretty good database application, I guess. I'm not really an expert on database software, so I can't really tell you much here. Next on our list is GeoPlanner, which is like a schedule, like calendar application for setting reminders and whatnot. It's a, just kind of a generic calendar application, I guess, and yeah. Up next is GeoWrite, which is the built-in word processor application. It's actually a pretty functional word processor all things considered. It's got all your word processory things, like typefaces, alignments, and different font sizes. It's actually a pretty solid word processor. The next thing is our uh, preferences menu where we can set different things like fonts, video settings, modem and printer settings, mouse settings. As well as this, there is this one thing called Lights Out, which is a, uh, yes, this actually comes with the uh, screen savers, which that's one of the new features in 2.0, and they're actually pretty cool screen savers. I'm not really gonna show them to you here because I already made a video showing off these screen savers, but uh, yeah, links to that in the description and at the end of the video. GeoWorks Ensemble does come with a couple of games, including Solitaire, just like Windows, as well as it actually comes with Tetris, which is wasn't totally expecting, but yeah, it's really cool that it includes Tetris. Finally, we've got our text file editor, which is kind of like Notepad. And it just allows you to like open text files. So we can also open something like our autoexec.bat and edit it here.
So uh, anyway, that's what it for what a GeoWorks Ensemble comes with. And I would like to, I'm going to make a bit of a bold statement here and say that GeoWorks Ensemble slash PC Geos is better than Windows 3.0 or even 3.1. So I've created this table comparing the different features. They both have a word processor, but the one in on GeoWorks Ensemble is better than Windows Write. Um, Windows does not come with a spreadsheet nor does it come with the database. Uh, they both have like a card file and a calendar. They both come with Solitaire. Uh, Windows does not come with Tetris. And GeoWorks does not come with Minesweeper or Reversi. And GeoWorks does not give money to Bill Gates. Whereas Windows does. And, uh, and only Windows 3.1 has sound card support. I think GeoWorks is probably better than Windows, mainly just because it comes with like the spreadsheet database and the more superior word processor. So uh, that's just about it for a GeoWorks Ensemble slash PC Geos. Overall, a pretty interesting and fascinating product, and it's a pretty good product considering when it came out. And uh, yeah, that's just about it. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.